Meanwhile, all new at five, former U.S. ambassador to NATO for the Trump administration, that is Kay Bailey Hutchison, tells CBS 11 News that she believes the all important alliance is stronger than ever before. Hutchison spoke with our political reporter Jack Fink today about the threats that lie ahead and the key she feels to keeping us safe. It's an interview you'll see only here on CBS 11. Always great to come home to Texas. Kay Bailey Hutchison returned to Dallas less than one week ago after serving for three and a half years as U.S. ambassador to NATO. She began in August 2017 at a time when President Donald Trump often criticized the European allies for not spending enough on defense. I think he came around to understanding the importance of the alliance the importance of having allies so that we're speaking not with one voice, but with 30 voices plus 40 partners. Hutchison acknowledged the tensions between the president and some European leaders. There are going to be tensions, there are going to be disagreements, but I think the great thing about NATO is every ambassador was working together. She said she and President Trump had good and frank discussions about whether Europe was doing its part. Did you ever have days where you felt like, gee, maybe I need to leave? Oh, sure. <laughs> of course. I mean, if, uh, if something was uh, particularly hard, um, I thought about, well, you know, maybe uh, leaving. Hutchison said she's glad she stayed. During her time, the European allies, she said, increased their defense spending by $140 billion. The NATO alliance will be crucial in facing threats from what she calls a very menacing Russia and China. I think that we've made NATO stronger. I think um, everyone acknowledges that America is essential in NATO. Our, our best defense is deterrence. Our best defense is to be prepared so that any country that would mess with the United States, being Russia, China, um, would know that the price would be too high for them. Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. Hutchison served as a U.S. Senator from Texas for 20 years.